Hi guys, just gonna go through the challenge maths from today. Um, this was a particularly tricky uh, bar model question. There's, as you can see, there's an awful lot of information. Uh, so we've got to figure out what's going on. So David, I'm just gonna use my colors. David, Evan, and Philip go out and buy a computer game. They agree to share the cost equally. Philip only has £4.50 with him. David and Evan agree to pay the rest of Philip's share and he will pay them back. That's fine. David pays in total 50% more than Evan pays. So I'm going to need my colours again. So we've got Evan and then we've got David. So David is slightly more than Evan. So what we need to do, so Evan and David. So Evan, I know it sounds silly. Evan is Evan, like so. Now what we need to do is we need to think about what David is in relation to Evan. And he's paid 50% more. So he is basically an Evan. And then half an Evan is 50% is the same as a half. Okay, so if we look here if I, like that, everything to the left of that line means they're the same. So this extra bit floating here is that extra part here, half an Evan. So David pays £8.40 more than Evan. So that means that this half an Evan over here must be worth £8.40. So if I know half of what Evan's got is worth £8.40, to find out what Evan is worth, I can double that to make £16.80. So that's what Evan uh, has to pay. And then <clears throat> David is going to be £16.80 added on to that £8.40. Like so. So David is £25.80. Um, and 20p. Now, some of you got to this point, uh, and that's really well done. Um, but in terms of what the question is actually asking, is a whole another thing together. So, what we've got is we've got he is equal to 16 pounds 80, and then we've got Philip still who only is contributing £4.50. Like so, so. Um, at the very start of the question, it asks us the key of, um, it says they're going out to buy a computer game and it says that they share the cost equally. So if this is all the money they've paid here, if we add it all up, we find out the cost of that game. So when we add them all together, we can use our column subtraction to help us. Like so, 10, 15, carry the one. Uh, 11, 15, 16, carry the one. Three, four. Right, so the game. The game is equal to 46 pounds 50. Apologies if you can hear the walkie-talkie. Uh, so that's what the game's worth. Now, if they're all going to pay the same at the end, to find out what they've got to pay each, we're going to have to divide this by three to find each person's share. I'm just going to stick that in a bus stop. Uh, so we've got threes into four go once, remainder one. Five, remainder one. Five, right. So each person has to pay £15.50. Okay, so the problem we've got though is Philip needs to give some money back. So if you try to calculate the gap that he's got, so he's got 450, but he actually has to pay 15 pound 50. So eventually he's got to pay 11 pounds back, but you don't really know if you go that way from Philip upwards, you can't tell who he's got to give what to. So what we've really got to look at here is um, <clears throat> how Evan, for example, is that his name? Yep. How Evan gets from the what he's actually paid 
to what he should have paid. So if we look here, the difference between 1680 and 1550 would be one pound 30. Uh, and then again, how, what has, how much has Dave overpaid uh, to get to 1550? Uh, he would have paid uh, 19 pounds, sorry, nine pounds 70 too much. Like so. Um, so he owes Evan £1.30 and he owes Dave £9.70, which add together to make that 11, which is the difference between here and 1550. And also to double check, if I put what Philip actually paid himself onto the bottom, like so, and add them up, you would get that 1550 that he should pay. Hope that helps.